Jesus said, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. You can tell what matters most in a person's life by what they value or what they spend their time on with, and that is that is easily determined, and we can do that in our own lives. Uh, Paul says in 1 Corinthians 7, 19 in our reading today, uh, Joshua 12 through 14 and 1 Corinthians chapter 7, and, and Paul says in verse 19 of that seventh chapter, circumcision is nothing and uncircumcision is nothing, but keeping the commandments of God is what matters. So the question for our lives today, what matters most in our lives? And really, in that verse is a summation of that. What matters most is keeping the commandments of God. The thing that matters is the Word of God. Everything else is inconsequential. For if we keep the commandments of God, everything else is going to fall into place. Uh, it's like the saying that I heard someone say, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and do what you want. Well, if you do that, that is, love God like that with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, what are you going to want to do? Well, you're going to want to live to please him. Can a person love God like that and not keep the commandments? Impossible. For in loving him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength like, like that, what will you want to do? Can a person love and not keep the commandments? I, I think it's impossible. For in loving God with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength, all a person has, everything, the only thing that you want to do then is please him. So what matters most in our life today? And how, for that matter, can we please him? Well, it's pretty simple. By keeping the commandments, walking in obedience to his word. If we love him like that, we will only want to do what he says. For in doing so, what happens? Well, we profit in every way, spiritually, physically, emotionally. It all hinges on the word of God and being obedient to the word of God. Once again, I, I see in today's lesson for us, the seed to plant, this business of the expediency of God's word is laid before us in this single verse. I, I don't know that we can state it any clearer than that. Keeping the law will not save a man, but surrendering to the word of God will bring about the change necessary for a person to be born again. And as Paul says in Romans, how will they be saved without someone to declare the word of God to them? And adding to that, how will we grow in our walk and our relationship with God without hiding the word of God in our hearts? To neglect, um, to neglect the word of God is to harm our own selves. We neglect it to our own ruin, for without it, we lean on our own understanding. And what happens then? Well, Jeremiah says our hearts are deceitful and desperately wicked. Deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? And so without the influence, without the input of the Word of God, uh, without that influence in our lives, we are left to our own devices, to leaning on our own understanding. We talked a little bit about that yesterday. And where, where does that lead us? Well, the Scripture also tells us that there is a way that seems right to a man. But, hmm. so, uh, I love what one person said. I'm not sure who it was that we uh, attribute this to, but... Uh, this word will keep you from sin, but sin will keep you from this book. There it is. So I want to encourage you again today, as I do so often, be in the word, spend time, because in spending time in the word, we learn more of the nature and the character of the God who loves us so much that he sent his only son into this world to die for our sins. Oh, how, how glorious is that? How wonderful to know how much he loves us. And the more we spend time in his word, the more we find out of, of his love for us and how much he cares for us and, and what he calls us to do. And because of our love for him, because he first loved us, we love him. And because of that, we want to serve him and please him in all that we do. I pray that your life as you walk with the Lord is pleasing to him today in the way that you walk. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you today.